Okay, so a little over a week ago, we um, were impacted by Tropical Storm Debbie. Um, if you got the emails that, that we were sending out, it, it sounded pretty pretty bad um, when we activated the EOC, we were expecting the worst. But fortunately, um, it shifted at last minute and we weren't, uh, we didn't receive quite the impacts that our neighbors to the south and, and uh, those of our fellow Georgians over on the coast are, are seeing. Um, the highest wind gusts that we had recorded were 50 miles an hour um, at the airport, um, out, out 84, kind of near the uh, landfill. We did um, receive around seven inches of rain. That was the highest rainfall total. Everywhere else got four to five inches, um, but that's a lot less than 10 to 15 inches that they were forecasting. So with that being said, um, we did not experience the flooding that, that we feared. Um, we had approximately, um, when we did our damage assessment, we had about 25 homes that, that um, had trees fall on that were reported through 911 that the first responders saw as they were riding around. We've had about 100 individuals um, identified that um, have uh, expressed an interest in some, some assistance with getting debris from their yards cleaned up. So we have reached out to uh, partner with GEMA and coordinated with some volunteer groups. Uh, we have a group coming in um, starting tomorrow and uh, Georgia Bible Camp is going to host them and um, have crisis cleanup that we use here in Medallia. Um, that organization turned out again for not just for us but for everybody affected by the and so we've been able to utilize that to match up the residents with needs with the, um, with the volunteer groups. But again, you know, the, the damage um, was was very minimal, um, especially if you, you, know, you shouldn't compare one storm to another because they're all different. But when you, you know, when you uh, had Hurricane Adalia last year, this this was this was kind of like a little whimper compared to that. And like I said, we didn't thankfully experience um, a lot of damage. We are, um, we do have the GEMA coming in next week to do a, um, preliminary damage assessment from the public assistance side, which is uh, all the local governments can do to see what kind of damage we had to our infrastructure and um, see is it, you know, if we have enough collectively to, to meet the threshold to qualify for any assistance there. But um, you know, there's no, no really guarantee we're going to get that to so be updated. Um, I'd ask any questions if you have any questions? Again, I just want to tell you and your team, and that's all the agencies and folks, county employees and all, city folks, everybody that was involved with the EOC. Um, I was there at 6 o'clock, and it was a building full of people then, and they had been there since midnight. Um, basically trying to get make sure everything was prepared and that we were in a good place if that storm had had the impact that we were getting projections of. So again, great planning. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for your effort and pass that on to you.